What's up Guardians, welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. With the Taken King, they introduced some new and powerful supers to the Crucible specifically. Supers that some people are having a lot of difficulty shutting down and engaging in the Crucible. So hopefully in this video I can share with you some tips, tricks, and some strategies for shutting down these supers before they become a problem for you. The first step in shutting down a roaming super is learning to hear the audio cues. Just listen. These audio cues are a dead giveaway that you need to position yourself strategically. So what I do here is backpedal and set my sights on a high impact sniper rifle right on the door on a choke point directly at head level so that when this storm trancing warlock comes through the doorway I am ready to engage him. Now at this point, if I miss that shot, if I get a body shot or I miss, what I'm going to do, quite frankly, is turn around and run straight out the door behind me. You always want to have an exit strategy because you can't bank on always hitting your shot. Sometimes you just won't. So listen for the audio cues. Kite the supering opponent into a place that's more strategic for you. Sometimes when these opponents are too close, your best bet is just to dump as much DPS into them as you possibly can before going down. Sometimes supers are supers and they kill you. So the best thing you can do is prime the target for your teammates to take out so that when you go down, your teammates can maybe more easily deal with the supering opponent. So Warlocks specifically with their Storm Trance, there are two things that you can do if you want to take them out. First and foremost, if you have a sniper rifle, you're going to want to keep your distance. They're most deadly at medium range. At long range, they can't engage you. And at super close range, the problem they have is that it's difficult for them to get a beat on you if you're at point blank range. They just hold the trigger and start spinning around. So the best thing you can do at that point is hopefully use a shotgun or a fusion rifle to take them out at point blank range assuming you have the spatial awareness to make it happen. And then there's the hammer of soul. Quite frankly this thing is a tank so what you need to do is not feed the the super. <laughs> do not give them kills. You either turn and you run away unless you have heavy ammo and you can shut them down or if you're a long ways away and you can safely dump damage into them. Otherwise when you hear that dong you turn around and you run. You kite them as much as you can. You zig and you zag and you use horizontal and visual cover to cover your escape. This is not a super you want to engage up close and personal and that was the point behind the design of this Titan is that at close to medium range they will wreck you unless you can put a lot of damage in them in a short amount of time. The next thing you're going to want to do is to learn to watch the kill feed. I was able to shut down this golden gunner quite frankly the only reason was because I had the awareness to see the kill feed in the lower left and see that hi hungry I'm dad just killed my teammate with a golden gun then I see the radar I see he's close and I know that a super against a super is my best bet at that point against a golden gunner and I don't have time to set the sights on my sniper rifle so I just go ahead and use my void bow to take him down so ultimately some of the best advice I can give you is to not engage supering opponents like you would engage any other opponent. You have to keep in mind that these are supers. They're highly deadly and you have to treat them that way. You have to play defensive, you have to kite, you have to bait, you have to use choke points, you have to use long sight lines, you have to know what you have equipped and know what their strengths are. Engage at point blank if you have a shotgun and you have the opportunity to get close without taking damage then you have to weigh that risk and reward and do it that way. Also, knowing what you have equipped can help you know what you cannot do. In this particular match, I'm using a low impact sniper rifle. And the problem with this is that I'm unable to shut down a self-reviving warlock. Notice here, the warlock self-revives and I get a headshot in him. And it's just not nearly enough damage to put him down in one shot. So it takes his shield out, so I immediately follow it up with the void bow. My teammate was able to kill him, and now I can just use my primary to take down some tethered targets. This is the reason that I almost always run with a higher impact sniper rifle. I want to be able to have clutch shots to shut down supers when I need to. Here's an example of a time where I actually pull off a quick scope headshot on a void bow hunter. 
and uh, it's just not enough damage. He's got a little bit of damage resistance, and I can't take him out. Otherwise, that would have been a really sweet shot, maybe one for the highlight reel, but unfortunately, it was a fail. So know what you have equipped, know what their strengths are, and just remember that these tips, they're not going to help you win every time you go against a supering opponent. Supers are supers. Sometimes you're going to lose. In fact, probably more often than not, you're going to lose. So just keep that in mind. These are just some tips and strategies that will help you shut them down every now and then. Maybe get yourself a nice little bit of a killjoy against an opponent, and hopefully you'll come out on top. Feel free to, to add any of your tips and strategies in the comments section, and know that this isn't an exhaustive guide. There are some other tips, and uh, I'm still collecting some footage against uh, specific supering opponents to offer some more advanced tips as well down the road. Thanks for stopping by, Guardians.